In this video, I'm going to show you how to censor out a stationary subject or a moving subject using effects animation. Hello and welcome to my Final Cut Pro tutorial. If you enjoy this video, please check out my other videos for more great tutorials. So let's get started. I'll open up Final Cut Pro and open my demo project. Here I have two examples. Let's take a look at my first clip. This clip is of a boat excursion I went on on my holiday trip. Let's say I'm making a commercial video but did not get the tour guide's permission to record her. To avoid any legal trouble, I'll blur out her face. I'll option click this clip to select it and place a playhead over it. Now I'll open up the effects browser, select all video and audio, and in the search box type in sensor. I'll drag and drop the sensor effect over my first clip. Click the center button and drag it over to center it on my subject's face. Then I'll open up the inspector and make sure video is selected. In the sensor part of the inspector, I can adjust the effect parameters. Let's go through these options. First, from the method drop down menu, I can select the type of sensor effect. I can choose to pixelate, blur, darken, or place a rectangle over my subject. I'll choose pixelate for this example. Next, I can choose the amount of effect to apply. In this example, that adjusts the size of the pixels. If I had chosen to darken it, the amount slider would adjust how much to darken it, or the amount of blur in the blur sensor. The radius slider adjusts the size of the censored area. I can move my effect in the viewer by clicking and dragging the center button, or by using these sliders in the inspector, whichever method you prefer. Next, you can change the aspect ratio of your effect area, and you can invert the effect by selecting this checkbox. For certain effects like pixelate and blur, you can increase the amount of effect by using this amount boost slider. I'll review my edit to make sure the effect is placed in the right place. In this next clip, a girl walks in from the side to the middle of my frame. This will work as a good example to censor a moving subject. I'll park my playhead over the start of this clip and select it. I'll double click on the censor effect to add it to my clip, move it over the area I want to censor, and adjust my parameters. Problem is, when I play my clip, the girl moves but the censored area doesn't. I'll use the video animator to move the censored area at the same time as my subject. Right click on the clip and select show video animation. A menu pops up with all the things I can animate, one of them being the sensor effect. Since I want to move my sensor effect, from the drop down menu I'll select center. With my playhead at the start of my clip, I'll set a keyframe here. Make sure the sensor animation is selected and from the menu bar, select Modify and add keyframe to selected effect, or use the keyboard shortcut Option K. A white dot is placed inside my effect animator. Now I'll skim over to where my subject stops moving, place a playhead there, and reselect the sensor animator. I'll click the center button in the viewer and move my sensor effect to where I need it. Final Cut Pro adds another keyframe to my sensor animator where I have my playhead. I'll review my edit, and if I want to be more accurate, I can add more keyframes. I'll move the playhead to where the effect is falling behind, select the animator again, and click and drag the effect. You can add as many keyframes as necessary to make the sensor effect move with your subject. You can also set another set of keyframes to animate a different parameter, such as radius of the effect, as the subject moves further away. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, check out the rest of my tutorials. Lots of great information there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.